war is soon to come to our time. Even now, Saruman sends forth his cruel orc servants. I escaped his trap at Orthanc, and now he seeks to hunt me down ere I finish my task. Understand that a great eye watches all in the darkness, building in power as it prepares to destroy this world. As I speak within your mind, Saruman rallies the wild men to his cause. They will pour forth here and in Rohan, burning as they go. I would suggest you find the dwarf quickly, before Saruman wins his war in this land. tracks. The dwarf came this way. He is heavy for one so small. I'd be careful not to say that around him. Quiet! Both of you. I hear something. Well, Ranger, it's about time!
This dwarf who joins your company heralds from a people who hold themselves apart from other races. But they are a race that feels deeply, and when deciding upon trust, their friendship lasts many lifetimes. I have met a few of these stout fellows in my time. They appear small, but are not to be trifled with. Do remember, as you enter their ancestral home, that their pride, greed, and stubborn magnificence created this now decaying wonder.
Watch out! Those tentacles are powerful! Excellent! They are digging our way in! He has opened the gate! <laughs> I knew he was good for something! Stand back! It shall be a dwarf who first enters Moria! The rumors are true. Balin has failed. My people have failed. This fight took place decades ago. Their bodies returned to dust. These great dwarf lords stood here for thousands of years, Elf. And this abomination took place before them. I do not find that amusing. Some small measure of their great power remains hidden here. I can feel it. Let me help you reclaim it. For your people. Seven rings of power were given to the Dwarf Lords, great miners and craftsmen of the mountain halls. But they were deceived by the Dark Lord, Sauron. And in time, their kingdoms fell into ruin. But the Dwarves hold many secrets, and few are graced to share their language. The secret runes of their ancient kings remain lost in these empty halls. It is your secret to find, my friend. Here lie the bodies of many dwarven generations. Many were slaughtered by invading orcs that bred and multiplied in warriors' darkness. Now they rule the vast halls and spread through the corridors and mines. But they do not rule warrior. That is the province of another, more powerful being. Tread carefully in the darkness, for you enter a world of enemies. Move swiftly, for if you do not, I shall find you.
Very good. You have now entered the long dark of Moria. Moria is a lost civilization that spans many ages. And in the deep places of this world, foul terrors still dwell, filled with wrath and malice. I expect you found the landscape changed since we recently passed through. That was the work of the Watcher in the water. For what good are words of opening or enchanted doors for that matter against such ancient powers?
Saruman admires the war, the terrible creation that mocks the wolf. To spread terror, he unleashed them upon the land surrounding Isengard. They are fast and powerful creatures, able to bring down a horse and rider. Few can withstand their attack. There is evidence they invaded Moria, but I avoided their dens. I hope we were as fortunate.